The second you step onto a train, it's like you've been slapped in the face by nostalgia. Suddenly, you're in another era, maybe one you never even lived through. The screech of the wheels, the clank of the tracks, stunning vistas, it's a sensory overload that's become a rare breed in modern America. Now last video, we cruised through the Kinkamagus Highway, a leaf peeper's paradise. But what we kept under wraps is that this place is also a mecca for vintage train enthusiasts. Yeah, the Conway Scenic Railroad is the one stealing all the headlines. This isn't some well-kept secret, tickets vanish like hotcakes, and at $132 a pop for a first-class five-hour journey, you've gotta wonder, is it worth the hype, or is it just another tourist trap? Stick around, because we're about to find out. Welcome to the Conway Scenic Railroad. So we're on this fall foliage trip, trying to see the leaves in as many different ways as possible as we go around these states. So far we've seen it by foot, by car, and even kayak. Yes. <laughs> but today we're doing it by train. Right now it's raining, so we hope it clears up, but let's hit the road. Yeah, let's go. With coffee in hand, we make our way to the train station, and it's not a bad commute either. You know, just another drive through New Hampshire. <laughs> Lucky for us, sunshine is out on this side of the White Mountains. Welcome to the town of North Conway. Our train is over here waiting for us, but we still have some time to kill. The sun has popped its head out, and we're going to get something to eat at the delicious place called The Met. place was popping and I think it's because two things. One, it's Sunday and two, it's good. Yeah, for real. It seems like uh, this is the spot everyone stops at before the train. So be prepared to wait, but not if you're just going to grab a pastry like us. That's right. So we just got an apple crown. Is that yeah, correct? Yeah, an apple crown. Kind of like an apple danish. Mm -hmm. We're all about the apple this season. <laughs> so it looks a little bit like this. Delicious. So we're going to eat this before we go on the train because you can't bring food on the train. Right. I don't know what's going to happen for lunchtime. We're kind of just figuring it out as you guys figure it out. What do you think of this small little town? I like it. Sometimes, you know, whenever you're not in a big city, you appreciate how small towns are in the way that they're peaceful, quiet, and you don't have to worry about safety. <laughs> Seems like a lot of people are here for the train too. I mean, it's gorgeous. As we mentioned, before in the video, we already seen the, the foliage road by different ways, but the train, I think it's gonna be an interesting one. We eat our food in this nice little park, but the adventure really begins when we head over to the North Conway train station. This Victorian style station really gives passengers a chance to step back in time to the 19th century. But before we get a chance to look around this place, the conductor is yelling, All aboard! And my musical theater heart is about ready to reenact the opening scene of Music Man. But we already are drawing enough attention to ourselves with this massive camera, so let's just get on board. Beep, beep. As we were about to board, we get some instructions on how to find our seats. All right, so. You're gonna go up the stairs to the left, okay. you're gonna go into this car, uh -huh. this is where it gets tricky. But here's something we didn't account for. I'm terrible with multi-step instructions. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. I, in fact, did not have it. The problem is that I forgot what he said. <laughs> what? He said it in English. Yes. I know. I have a really short memory. Don't worry, we ended up finding our seat and just in time too. And we lucked out because we booked a three-seater table and the third seat wasn't taken. Kind of rare on such a popular ride on the best weekend for foliage in the area. It's like winning the train lottery. More room for us and an extra seat for, well, you I guess. Yeah. So there's a few different tour companies that do trains here in this area and few different routes as well. But what we decided to do, what we heard is good, is the Mountaineer train with the Conway Scenic Railroad. So it's five hours long. Apparently you get to stop off at some places, which I didn't know until just now. So this should be fun. We picked the first class train too, which is really, really beautiful. Nice curtains and everything. And 
We like our seat. Okay, we found out that the snack bar on the train is cash only. So we only have 20 bucks. Let's see how we can figure that out. Where I can see is they have chips, they have chocolates, water, sodas, coffee, and also they mentioned some hot dogs and soup. So I'm curious about that. Hey! hey. Are we so excited? Yes! Yeah, yeah the, the colors are so amazing on this trip. It is so nice yeah. and beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. It's, good it's good that you get to see it from the window, at least from where totally. you are. Yeah. Yes, ma'am! Yeah. <laughs> we get two waters and some chips. And we can't remember how much we spent, but we know it wasn't all our cash. We kept some left over just in case we get ravishly parched. We'll make it work. We're only starting and you know, and we were very excited about a river or like a house with the wood pile up or like kids playing, you know? But we're just starting this. It's five hours and probably we're gonna see amazing places. So the first five miles of this train ride are pretty flat, but it's called Mountaineer for a reason because we're gonna start going up the mountain. So I'm very, very excited to see if we get some good views from this side of the train. We're currently seated on the right side of the train if you're facing the conductor. to like peek over at the dome class which I heard is like the best place to sit on this train but it's a lot more expensive and it sells out months in advance. We were really lucky that we even got to be in first class. Um, luckily you can't go wrong. The views are the views but if we had to do this again we'd probably shoot for the dome class because you can see up above and that's super, super cool. It's dark. <laughs> that's super super cool. You have to be patient because the first miles you're just leaving the town but right now you're getting some altitude and right now you can see the top of the trees so right now the scenery it's getting so much better ah so here's the kicker as we're settling into our seats we find out we're going to be chugging through crawford notch now if you caught our last video you'll remember that our first encounter with crawford notch was well let's just say less than picture perfect but life's funny that way giving you second chances when you least expect it now why is Crawford Notch a big deal, you ask? Well, back in the mid-1800s, this place was the wild west of railroad engineering. Imagine a bunch of guys with handlebar mustaches and suspenders literally blasting their way through mountains just to lay down some tracks, yeah. They used black powder to carve through rock, and no, OSHA wasn't a thing back then. The Portland and Ogdensburg Railroad finally cracked the code in 1875, turning this formidable mountain pass into New England's own Orient Express. So here we are, a century and a half later, cruising on tracks that were once the bleeding edge of 19th century tech. The Conway Scenic Railroad wasn't established until later in 1974, but while it's not as old, you still get that nostalgic experience. This is amazing because we tried to see these yesterday and we couldn't. For reference, you can watch our last video. And right now, we're watching it and it's beautiful. So this year in New England is kind of an unusual one for the foliage because it's El Mingo year. So that means that the colors were a little unpredictable. This year they're a lot more muted than in previous years due to that, due to the hot weather lasting longer, more rain. And what's interesting is we're filming this during the first week of October. And a lot of the trees have lost their leaves overnight just the time we've been here because of the wind. So it's kind of an unusual year. But somehow, I don't know how this happened, we're here during what is the peak, which is crazy because it's normally at the end of October. So every year is different. You never know when you're going to hit it. Luckily for us, we came from California and had it at the perfect time. I imagine if you live here, you can just come out when, whenever they're recording it. But uh, either way, even though the colors aren't as bright as what people are saying, it's still amazing, it's still gorgeous, still better than anything I've ever seen anywhere else. After a couple hours, the train comes to a halt and we get a chance to stretch our legs at Crawford Notch Depot. 
So this is a stop. Pretty really new. They let you get off of the train. I love that because you know sometimes depending on where you're sitting, your your window might have some grease stains on it for people pressing their foreheads against it. Probably they notice already. Maybe, maybe, but it's super great because we stop here in Crawford Notch Depot. I think it is. There's a lake across the way. Yeah. I don't know if it's the same one we saw yesterday. Probably. It could be, but with the rain, it's difficult to tell. So uh, maybe we could actually go over there. And Good shots this time Maybe. because uh, last time it was impossible. I really like the train. I think you have to get a little bit lucky because from our side you have better views than from the other. And the, uh, the other the ladies other side. they were complaining about like, oh, we're not at the right side of the train. And I didn't even know which side we should be picking. So right side it is. Yeah. So far so good. So far so good. Because we are short on cash, I just bought some, because I know Juliana loves maple and she wants to eat everything with maple, I just bought some maple kettle corn. Nice. And two chocolates, Juliana loves Reese's, I love Twix. Twix, I don't know how to pronounce Twix. it, but I love it. So at least the stop here accepted card. And by the time we wrapped up our transaction, it was time to hop on the train. And by the way, this is what actually happens after we film these pre-filmed walking shots. It's the travel YouTuber version of the walk of shame. <laughs> All right, now you actually go. Since no one's over here, let's take a look around. <laughs> Reese is in the back pocket. <laughs> Always. <laughs> we make our way through the first class car into the snack car and up to the premium dumb car. Might as well take a better look here. And it's a good thing we did because we run into a guy who really knows this place. I've been coming up here for years. Yeah. So I know this line inside and out. Oh, I know wow. the owners, I know all the workers. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's, that's cool. awesome. Well, we're making a YouTube video of our experience. Oh, wow. Very nice. Do you want to say hi in the sure, video? What's your name? My name is John. John here knows a ton about trains. So uh, tell us again what car we're in. So this passenger car we're in is used to be uh, from Canada. It came from an operation called the Oxford Express, another tourist operation that went belly up and they bought this car for the Mountaineer train. I mentioned the car ahead of us is a former California Zephyr Dome car that used to run from Chicago to San Francisco uh, through the uh, Colorado Rocky Mountains. Oh wow. The majority of the rest of the cars are from Canada, um, coming from various owners from Canadian National to Canadian Pacific. Amazing. The two engines on the head end of our train are actually original locomotives that used to pull freight trains up and down the, uh, the notch years ago. Um, in fact, the lead engine was the last engine to pull a freight train over Crawford Notch. Whoa, okay, okay. He should be leading our video, not us. <laughs> well, it was so nice to meet you. I'm Juliana, this is Martin. Pleasure. We run a channel called Tourist to Local. We're trying to see every um, state in the USA and Mexico to understand each other's culture more. That is correct. So, well, you uh, came yeah, to the right place for New England. I guess so. <laughs> Always running into interesting folks, and we love getting to hear a little bit about the history of these cars. They really all do look so different. We pass through a few more cars and head back to our seat. But after chugging a little bit further, we come to a stop. So this is something I wasn't expecting. We're at a turnaround point right now, and there's a tradition that you actually will switch sides with whoever's on the other side of the view. So that's so good so that everybody gets a chance to see each view. So now we get a whole other experience on the way back. And the ride back feels surprisingly quick but we're loving every minute of it. It's definitely not as scenic as the other side, but seeing all the trees and creeks go by is entertaining enough. Before we know it, we are right back in North Conway. So, the question we're all wondering, was it worth it? I think so. I mean, you don't have many opportunities to travel by train. Yeah, that's true. And Especially in a beautiful like this one. That, yeah, definitely. But definitely go into it knowing that like, when you're in the train, a lot of times when you're up close to the trees, uh -huh. you don't get to have like that same experience as driving the, the kank, for example, which we did the other day. That's right. Um, a lot of times the trees, the colors are at the very top. And uh, I think it's uh, time to relax. I mean, it's five hours, so it's uh, you have to be 
just relax, enjoy the ride, and just keep your eye out, you know? One thing I will note is like they made a really big deal on the website about buying the lunch package before, which we didn't, and I was really worried we wouldn't be able to eat any food. Right. But what I heard from the people next to us is that the sandwiches were like really disappointing because they thought like they had to buy those or they wouldn't eat, but turns out there was like a lunch cart. Like you could still buy stuff, That's hot right. meals actually. So we recommend that. Yeah. We wanted to buy the soup, but we couldn't because yeah. we were uh, short yeah. cash. Yeah, but exactly. I wouldn't. Now, because we're here in North Conway, even though we're not staying here, we might as well make the most of it. There's still a couple things we can do here. So what do you say we make the most of this beautiful weather and uh, go show these people some more things to do? Let's go for it. Apparently, we have to go to a place called Cathedral Ledge Lookout. So we're going to see how it looks. Martin got really quiet here, and I had a feeling he was either really taking in the moment or he was up to something. What? We've been lost for days. <laughs> no, we're not gonna put that. Right? <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> Viewpoint coming in three, two, one. said we needed to come here and I didn't I didn't know if it was gonna be like anything that blew our minds away after seeing so many beautiful viewpoints over the past few days but the sky is cleared up New Hampshire and Maine have both blessed us with some of the best weather to experience fall foliage and we've had such such great luck this trip I'm curious if next week when we take you guys to Vermont if we'll keep up the lucky streak but in the meantime who cares? We're here. We're going to enjoy the view. Okay, this is a good viewpoint because you have uh, three different views. Almost 360. Uh, I liked it. I don't, I don't think to say that this might be the best viewpoint we've seen on our entire trip. Yes. Yeah. An entire trip? Yes. Yeah. For sure. So beautiful. Seriously. All right, so you longtime viewers are going to be pretty shocked by where we are choosing to spend our evening tonight. That's right. Today we're in a restaurant that is called the Muddy Moose. Normally we don't eat in these thematic restaurants, you know? Yep. But we keep driving and we've seen these signs of moose crossing. So it just got stuck in our head. Yeah, and sometimes you just need to eat some American fare in a wilderness-themed lodge. I mean. I'm excited because I'm going to have some ribs. Yeah, and I'm going to have some steak. Yeah, and I think we need a real meal because you guys have seen, we only ate sugar and simple carbohydrates all day. <laughs> I have a headache already. Meat, mashed potatoes, gravy, squash. It's a great meal. <laughs> well, I don't know about you, but I'm exhausted. <laughs> Me too. I cannot wait to get to our beautiful hotel and stay over there. <laughs> yeah, so who knew sitting on a train all day could be so tiring? I anyway, know. we're going to be heading to Vermont tomorrow. Oh, I'm so excited. So, so excited. But in the meantime, we can leave you these videos so you can still watch our adventures. So long. Travel well. Make the world your neighborhood. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.